should probably turn that on silent. <sighs> you have audio, you can hear me. Hello? Can you hear me? Are you on two or three, do you know? I'm on one. I'm on mic one. Oh, okay. We're working. We're good. We're good. We're good. You can hear me? Did you do the countdown? Oh no, I'm just here standing. Are we like live live? Oh, <laughs> we are live on Facebook. Are we live on YouTube? All right, perfect. Sorry about that guys. I thought we had our countdown rolling. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed your uh, Labor Day holiday. I know we all did. We got a day off and that was so nice to spend uh, with family and just enjoying the beautiful weather and recouping. So I hope you guys had a nice extended weekend as well. Uh, today, we're super excited. We're gonna show you how to make a jelly roll race or as far through the jelly roll race as we can get in our time. And also, if you're not aware, September is National Sewing Month, so that's really fun. So it's a great time to focus up on those projects that you wanna do or find a new project you wanna work on. So be sure to dive right into those. Um, and, is it the 15th, Mary? Yes. The 15th is National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. Um, so we've got a couple of really cute uh, Moda jelly rolls here with us. This one is Play All Day uh, by American Jane for Moda. And that's what this sample that I made behind us is made out of. And then the one we're gonna work on today is Hollywoods by Three Sisters. And it's this really fun um, red, white, and blue line. Oh, I forgot to see where we have people tuning in from. So let's do that real quick. And then we will get started. We've got Carrie from Washington State. Hi, Carrie. Sherry from Arkansas. Thanks for tuning in. Annabelle from Austria. Thanks for watching, Annabelle. We're so glad you guys are here. Uh, we are excited to, to get started. And I want to make sure that we have plenty of time to show you how we did this. So. There are links in the profile for Jenny's full tutorial on the original Jelly Roll Race, as well as um, links to take you to all of our um, Jelly Rolls that are available for sale. So make sure you check those out. In the tutorial that Jenny did, she attached her Jelly Roll strips like you would binding strips. So she laid them crosswise and sewed corner to corner so that they were, you know, seamed on a diagonal and open them up. But when I was talking to Jenny about doing this project, she said to just sew them straight together, just end to end, just like this. So that's what I've done here. So with this um, Hollywood's jelly roll, I open it up and you just take it off exactly how it is on the roll. So you don't mix up your colors to start. So I've sewed, you know, all my blues one after the other to the white to the red. And um, I just sewed, oh, well, obviously I cut the salvage off first and then I sewed them all together. So that's what I've got here ready to go. And so then now you've got this big, long, I mean, it is a lot of fabric and you're just gonna find both ends and you're gonna lay them right side together and we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way down. And so this is probably gonna take a little while. So if there's any questions or anything, let me know and I'll try to answer because this is a lot of straight sewing. But that's what's so fun about this project is even though this is a lot of inches. It's just one straight seam. And then we're gonna, you know, sew it together and again, again, and again. That makes it super fun. All right, let's dive right into this. So I just take a few stitches and readjust, make sure I'm staying lined up as I go zoom on down. Obviously we've got these right sides together. Oh, 
you know what? I almost forgot one important detail. I'm going to have to back out really quick. I got too excited. Hold on. I forgot to tell you. Let me find a seam ripper. From one of those, you have to cut off like 12 or 18 inches so that all of your seams don't line up. We would have had a problem. I'm glad I didn't sew any farther. All right, I'll just use my scissors, I guess. Get this started. Huh? Uh, oh, there might be. Let's look. No, I don't see one. There's a seam ripper in there. I know I've got one somewhere. Is it over there for quilt snips? Thanks, Mary. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> she doesn't want to come on camera. Thanks, Mary. All right. We're really live and we all make mistakes. Let me just take this out really quick. All right. Any questions or anything coming through, guys? No? Ooh, we have some offers for uh, use of seam rippers. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Thanks, guys, for looking out for me, <laughs> offering your seam rippers up. I knew we had one somewhere. They tend to walk away, though. We're always working on multiple things. All right. Darn it, of course I got farther than I thought I did. Jenny would just, like, start this and then rip it, but I'm a little nervous about that. Doo -doo. Do you have any tips and tricks about... You want? All right, let's see. Um, do you have any tips or tricks about how to keep strips even when sewing so many and no bowing? Um, I haven't ever really found them to bow too bad. I mean, the one that I did, I just took it slow and steady and just made sure that I wasn't like forcing any fabric through or uh, pushing or pulling on it. I just let the feed dogs do the work. Um, I know if you sew, this one's kind of interesting because of the method. Like some people say you should alternate which end you are starting from, but you can't really do that with this. Um, so I think it just kind of depends. But like I said, I didn't have any trouble with bowing. You can see this one behind me. It, it turned out really, really fun. But I would just say, take your time. We're almost there. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad we didn't get farther in. I intentionally didn't cut that off because I was like, oh, I've got to show him to do that. And then I forgot. Okay. Almost there. So th since it's uh, National Sewing Month, we'd love to hear what you guys are working on, what projects you've got going, if there's any any quilt patterns in particular that you're sewing this month? Things you're trying to do? All right, got that all ripped. So now we're just gonna take and cut off a piece of one of them so that it offsets our seams. And really, you don't even have to measure, you just kinda have to eyeball so that it creates a stagger. So I'm just gonna cut that off and get rid of this. And now we're really ready to go. Sorry about that. Okay, so then we're gonna find that end. And now you can see when I put them together, instead of my seams all being in the same place, I've got one here and one here, and it'll provide that stagger that we're looking for. Whew, crisis averted. Okay, so let's start again. Now we're just gonna line this up and zoom on down. There we go. Isabella's making uh, Rob from Man Sewing his uh, basket weave quilt. Do you remember that one, Misty? Oh, With which the ombre one? jelly roll. Oh, um, yes, yeah. That one's beautiful. Be sure and share that with us on social media, Isabella, when you're finished. Yeah, share it with us.
So one of the things I love about this Jelly Roll Race quilt is since most of the time, especially when you're getting started with these two strips, it's just the two strips together, it's really easy to keep them lined up and you don't have to stop for very long. You just get to keep sewing. And then straighten it again. So many inches of fabric, it's so fun. <clears throat> if you get um, twists or anything, you're just gonna keep straightening them out and keeping uh, right sides together until you get down to the very end. Oh, and also, just as a little tip, I didn't even press this giant long strip after I sewed it all together. I just am pushing the seams in the direction I need them to go when they get to the presser foot. And that's the same way I did the sample that's behind us and I, I think it quilted up nicely. I didn't have any trouble with it at all. big piles winning. I'm going to pull some of that over here. Be prepared. You will have some fabric fluff all over you, but that's okay. It's worth it. All right. And this is Mary. I'm filling in for Jake today. Yes. Um, and it looks like you all are working some absolutely amazing projects during the month of September for National Sewing Month. I saw on YouTube that someone's making a crown quilt. Ooh, Instead of I making love... the 24 inch box, she's making a 12 inch box. Oh, I love that. I love the crown quilt. It's beautiful. And again, if you, if you would love, or if you would want to share that with us on social media, we would love to see it. Um, you can find us on Facebook or Instagram. Perfect. All right. And Joyce has a Jelly Roll UFO. And she said all it needs is are the borders sewn on and it's good to go. Which that should be a super quick little project to finish up, Joyce. Have fun sewing. Tanya's working on the Falling Charms quilt. Which Fun! That quilt was hanging up here in the quilt studio for a little bit, wasn't it? What? The Falling Charms quilt. It, it was hanging up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did have that hanging up on the wall. And they had to take it to take some pictures again. I'm hoping we get it back soon. Misty, how do you like the machine? I really like this machine a lot. I was just thinking that this might be an instance where I would liked the extra speed of the Jane just uh -huh. since I'm doing straight stitches for right. so long but this is still quick and it does a great job and I tell you what for as long as you're sewing on this with you know these consistent straight seams it's really given it a good test and I already made one on this I used this same machine to make the sample behind us and it did a great job and this is the ever sewn uh, Sparrow 25 that I'm using which is available on our website. And this is the Jelly Roll 
race quilts before? What? Have you made any jelly roll race quilts before? Um, this, this one behind me was my first one that I've actually made myself. So I am, interestingly enough, I like small blocks. Like uh, my favorite to work on is like the tiny wonky stars. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but that's just what I tend to enjoy myself. And so this is not one that I had tried, but it's really fun and it's really quick. I think the whole thing start to finish, well to the finished top I should say, took me maybe just over an hour and a half. It wasn't too bad at all. Know, what? Sew together for yeah. a gift or oh, exactly. some project to work on with your kids or grandkids. Yeah, it would be really great. Um, it would be really great with kids or grandkids. I would probably help with this this first row of sewing everything together because I think that's the one that can be the most daunting, um, just because it is so long. But it's simple, so if they're into it, I mean, there's no. There's no reason like skill wise that they wouldn't be able to do it as long as they can sew that straight line. But it is a lot of fabric and I should have looked it up. Jenny knows the exact number of inches cause she'll say sometimes uh, exactly what it is. And I forgot to ask her cause it's a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot of inches. Um, and on YouTube, Denise is, is suggesting I would really like Missouri Star to do a jelly roll rug tutorial. Ooh. I know we've seen a lot of those on social media. Yeah. And, um, they do look really fun to make. You'll have to stay tuned, Denise. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. We are making progress. I should have had you join me on set, Mary, and we could have literally raced. <laughs> we could have both been sewing these. Um, I hate to admit this to our audience, but I do not know how to sew. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fix it. We'll, we'll, we'll help her learn. <laughs> that could be our next Facebook Live. Yes, for sure. you know, that's a good idea, actually. Mary is a lady of many talents, so. I have no doubt that she could learn how to sew. Right. So in case you're just joining us, we are working on a jelly roll race. And what I have done is I've opened up a jelly roll and I've sewn it straight seam, end to end to end to end, just as it comes off the roll. And now we are folding that big long strip in half, right sides together, and sewing those strips together. And I'll be doing that for a little while longer. <laughs> All right, and while we're sewing up a storm over there, yes. um, it looks like we're having some uh, <laughs> Some of our lovely audience members are doing some math for us oh. in terms of how many inches you're sewing at the moment. Fabulous. So Jill on YouTube says 42 inches by 40 strips equals 1,680 inches. 1,680 inches. That's, That's what we're working inches. on. It is a lot of inches. But the fun thing about it is this first seam takes a while but then with each next like each additional seam it gets quicker and quicker and it's so gratifying to go from this you know big roll of fabric that you're not quite sure what to do with to have a finished quilt top in just an afternoon it's very fun Need to pull some of this over to my lap again. Gets too far away and then makes it hard to keep it lined up. So I'm gonna adjust some things here. There we go. Perfect. So 
What did everybody do for Labor Day? That's what I want to know. My husband took the kids to ride motorcycles and camp. And I stayed home and cleaned the house. It was awesome. And did a bedroom makeover for my boys. They were excited. And it looks so good too. It was How fun. How do they feel about their new bed? They love it. It was really, really fun. Fantastic. It, it's funny because I knew that they had been wanting a change for their room for a while, but then afterwards, since they weren't there for any of it, I got a little nervous. I was like, what if they don't like it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I had put all this work into changing it up and got them some new beds. And either way, they love it. It was really, really gratifying. Did they pick out their like bed spreads and everything? Um, well, they basically they just love anything Star Wars and Minecraft. So <laughs> I just awesome. kind of went with that. Fantastic. Yeah. That's what they're all about. Ooh, looks like lots of people are doing some crafty things. Awesome. Someone was crocheting a baby afghan. Super fun. And then another comment that I just saw zoom past me, someone canned two bushels of peaches. Oh, which, yum. Exactly. You can always mail us a pie. Yeah, we mm. will take peaches for sure. Actually, um, a friend of mine posted that they have some peaches that need picked, and I keep thinking, I need to get over there. But <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I actually spent a, a weekend a couple weeks ago picking peaches. Really? Um, it's very gratifying at yeah. the end when there's a nice pie. Okay. And what's the jelly roll you're using again? This is the Hollywoods by Three Sisters jelly roll. And the one behind me on the sample is Play All Day. And you all may recognize that Hollywood's fabric from one of Jane's tutorials. She used it for the royal wedding quilt, I oh, believe. Oh, that's right. She did. And you can catch that tutorial on our YouTube channel or on quiltingtutorials.com. And Joyce is asking, whose son is Ezra? My son is Ezra. That's my baby. Did He's... you all watch the um, last children's sewing project this yeah, weekend? Yeah, he... His, well, his non-sewing sewing project, I yes. guess. Yes, <laughs> yes, the no sew fleece tie pillowcase. Yeah, it was perfect for him. He had so much fun. He's such a little ham. He really is fantastic in front of the yeah. camera. <laughs> <laughs> he is a funny boy. Yeah, that's my baby. It's fun to see all of them get to do projects with grandma. Definitely. Is he enjoying that fleece pillowcase? He is. It's on his bed. Awesome. Oh, he loves it. I thought it was so funny. He like, he's like, I didn't pick that fabric. <laughs> and I was like, you asked for Star Wars? And he's like, yeah, but I didn't pick it. I think if I remember correctly, I picked the fabric. Yeah. Or I go and grab it. Yeah, think, you, so. went, you went and grabbed it. But. Yeah, but we definitely talked about it. Yeah, we, were, we like, totally Star Wars did. And... Hey, at least he's honest. He's like, no, yeah. that wasn't me. That's I true. didn't do it. So funny. All right, and Amanda's asking, how many jelly rolls do you use for this one? Just one jelly roll. Just one jelly roll will get you this entire quilt, Amanda. Yep. It. It's great for like, um, like a couch quilt to snuggle up with, you know, while you're watching TV, or it would be perfect for a picnic. It's a really nice, uh, great lap size. Okay, we are almost there. My pile is much less daunting than when I started. The end is almost in sight. Yeah. I think
think on this project, the important thing is just to keep them lined up and keep that uh, quarter inch consistent, and then you won't have any trouble at all. I do have to say towards the end, that is when you deal with more twists. And so you do have to take a little bit more time to line up. But just wanna make sure you get it right. And about what size does this quilt finish up at? Oh, you know what? Let me finish this and then we will measure because I forgot to write that down. All right, stay tuned for just yes, a little bit longer. We will, we will get a size for you. Jenny's also made a couple different varieties of the Jelly Roll Race since her first one where she did it, um, sewing them at an angle. I've sewn them straight across here, but she's also added little squares or triangles in between. So then those squares or triangles are, are staggered throughout as well. And those are really, really fun. It's just a really, uh, it's a great quilt if you don't have a lot of time, but you wanna throw something together for a gift. Like I said, it's a, a good picnic quilt or a good, good, you know, just comfy throw to cover up with. And Faye on YouTube was asking, could you make it bigger? Um, you know, that's a good question. I am not entirely sure just because of the nature of it, I don't know how it would divvy up. Like if you did two jelly rolls, hopefully it wouldn't end up just like a long runway. We should find Definitely. out. We'll investigate we'll that investigate. and get back to you. Uh, and you can always add some borders to it. I know there are some jelly roll quilts uh, uh -huh. here at Missouri Star that have an inner border and outer border to add a yes. little bit more size to it. Yeah, well. exactly. Yeah, that's, that's an easy way to make it bigger. I'm not sure if you could just do jelly rolls. You might have to calculate your number just right so that they, as you sew them together, you still get a size that's not like a giant runway. All right. All right, Mallory's saying on YouTube, I did one with two jelly rolls. It turned out good, but would have been better with about four less strips. So okay, see? Hopefully that's, that's a helpful, thing. Yeah, that's great to know. All right. so close I know I keep saying that but it seems much closer to me because I've already <laughs> gone through this whole pile definitely get there soon yes um, Wendy's asking do we do a live show every Tuesday we do a live show every Tuesday we go live on Facebook and YouTube at 11 o'clock uh, central time where we are here in Hamilton Missouri If you guys have any fun things that you'd like to see us do or talk about on Facebook Live, we would love to hear it. Give us some feedback if you feel so inclined.
Ooh, Betty says she's anxiously awaiting the crumb quilt session. Ooh, crumb quilts. Yes, I actually think that will be here fairly soon. I don't, ah. know, if, I don't know if it'll be this month, but I was just talking to Jenny about that, and I think we're going to make that happen very soon. That's fantastic. I can't wait to see it. We're getting lots of comments about the Jelly Roll rug. Oh, yeah. I think we need to make that happen, Misty. All right. I will look into it. I'm sure we can do that. I think people are always looking for a fun project for their Jelly Rolls because we like to buy them because they look pretty, but we don't always know what to do with them. <laughs> All right, and Misty, could you um, talk yeah. again about how you keep the strips straight and not wonky? Yes, so all I'm doing, because these are the exact same width, it's really simple and they're not too wide. I actually like to kind of sandwich it. I hold like the bottom strip in my hand. I hope you guys can see this. And then I just lay the other one on top and grab it with my thumb. And as I slide down, it's really easy to keep them straight. And then you just want to not push or pull, just let the feed dogs do the work and keep that consistent. Um, quarter inch seam as you go and as you get every I don't know 18 inches or so you kind of readjust slide your hand down re-straighten and just let it zip along Just as a reminder, I sewed these uh, end to end to end just like they came off the jelly roll and I didn't even press them. I'm just like kind of finger pressing my seams back as I get there. Um, I just found that when I was making the other one, I pressed them at the beginning and I didn't find that it was any easier or any better results on this particular project, which I know is not the case for most quilting projects. So. Don't, don't take that advice anywhere else except to the Jelly Roll race. <laughs> and how many inches did you cut off the first strip to get? To oh yes, offset? exactly. And we took that um, about 18 inches off that first strip so that we can stagger our seams. Thanks, Mary. Otherwise, you'll have to go back and rip it out like I did. <laughs> or really, you'll be like, why did I even do this? I could have just sewn one Jelly Roll after another after another, because that's what you would have got <laughs> if you hadn't cut that off. <laughs> So, and there's nothing wrong with that. There, huh? It just makes a nice strippy. That's right, a nice quilt. straight strip quilt, which is great too. But there's no sense to use this method in that case. All right, guys, this we are almost to the very end. This is it, and so here I'm going to show you what I do. Oh my gosh, I didn't get any twists. This is a miracle. <laughs> I've never had, this did not happen on the last one on any of the ones that I sewed. So this is really, really great. So now, oops, that's my microphone. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so now I just kind of hold this out and I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm going to just trim this straight across so that once we're done with this step, we can open it up and go on to the next row that we're gonna sew together. So that worked really well. So we're just going to finish up this strip. Perfect. We did it. Okay, so now you can see we've got all of this and 
I'm going to tell you the exact same thing before. Because you're not sewing any of these seams together, you don't have to press yet. And so the magic is you're just going to find both ends again and you're going to lay them right sides together and you're just going to zoom all the way down again. And you keep going. Should we do one more row? Should we sew them again? We want to do one more row? Yeah, let us know. Want me to keep sewing? Or are you guys getting the concept? Let's see. Can you give us some hearts if you want us to sew another yeah, row? Yeah, so let us you can know. Kind of see how I'll the go ahead and start, up. and you guys can let me know if you just want me to, to wrap it up or not. But, but all I'm doing, as you can see, I've got, here's my strips. I've opened them up. Oh, we're starting to, we're getting some hearts. We're some getting some hearts, ups. huh? We're going to keep sewing them. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to open these up just like this, if I can get a hold of it. <clears throat> we're going to sew it right sides together and just pick a, pick a side. I mean, you can kind of turn it either way you, you choose. I'm going to go with the blue and white. So I've got some good contrast to make sure they're lined up. Awesome. And then we're just going to zoom down again. And this is such a pretty fabric line. It Missy's is. It's using beautiful. Hollywoods by Three Sisters by three from Moda. Yes. Um, and she's also using the Eversown Sparrow 25 machine. I've seen some questions pop up about yes. that. Um, complete with a Missouri Star sticker, which you can also find on our website. Uh, yes, that's right. We, we put a sticker on the back there. It doesn't come with that, but it sure seemed necessary. So. I think is a great addition. That's right. All right, so we're gonna get started. Oh, one other piece of advice, because I just did it, so I thought of it. Make sure you watch your bobbin. Because, as you can imagine, with all this straight sewing, you go through it pretty quick. And so you don't want to be mad and just like let it keep sewing and realize, oh my gosh, none of that even had bobbin thread. <laughs> so that's what's so nice about these uh, top load bobbins. I can kind of see where I'm at. And Misty, do you offset the strips again or do you just... You don't. don't. Only that first time. So now that you've... Um, you've done that, it should automatically create the stagger throughout the whole quilt. So now all you're doing is folding it in half. You only have to cut that very first piece. There we go, line it up. All right, we've seen some uh, ideas for crumb quilting and for um, the jelly roll rug. Um, project for potential Facebook or YouTube lives. Um, uh, do you all have any other ideas? Any, yeah. any other projects you'd like to see us uh, try here on our Missouri Star Lives show? We're happy to be your guinea pigs. <laughs> yes, and we are game for anything. Yes, we are. All right. Sewing along. I think it's also important to remember that I did not um, mix up any of the strips. I just took them right off the roll just as they come because this kind of mixes them up for you as you're going. And so you might mix it up as you're sewing the strips together, but then when you start folding them in half and in half again, then you'd get a, a bunch of the same things together. And so we found that just taking it right off the roll, even if there's multiples of the exact same print, um, we just keep them together and just keep on sewing. Hopefully my pile doesn't get too high here in front of the, the machine. Same thing, sneaking away, getting heavy on me. So like I said earlier, you're going to have sewing dust all over you, but it's kind of like pixie dust, right? It's magic. So we're not complaining. And we're just going to keep on keeping on.
we have a suggestion for a fall project. We made that um, friendship break table runner, but that's yes. a good idea. Yeah. It's September, so it's officially pumpkin spice season. So what have I done here? Ran into a little bit of issue, it looks like. Hmm. Just a second. Looks like my bobbin got caught somehow. Hmm. Well, it was probably meant to be because it's about time to rethread my bobbin. So let me clip this. Let's see. A friendship break quilt. Uh, Jenny yes. has a great tutorial. Jenny for, has a wonderful uh, for that. Um, let's see. Missy's adding a new bobbin. To I'm, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a new bobbin here. So we went right through that one. All right. So definitely when making the jelly roll race, be plan prepared. For two to three bobbins? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I just filled this one right before we got started. And so I used a fresh bobbin to sew my pieces together um, end to end to end. And then made it through about one and a third stripes. Oops. Actually, that pops for me. I'll just hold it. And Missy, what happens to that piece that you cut off at the very beginning of your jelly roll? Hold on just a second. I can't hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Mary? Sorry about what that. What happens to that uh, 18 inch piece that you cut off at the very beginning of your jelly roll? Um, that's just your waist. I just set that one aside completely. I just dis disregard it. Oops, sorry, hold on here. Trim off my little tail so it doesn't get in the way. If I can snip it, there we go. All right, so then I'm gonna load my bobbin back in. Oh great, where'd my little thing go? <laughs> Did it fall in my pouch? Oh no, you guys, it's a mystery. I've lost my cover plate. Hold on, it can't be too far. Well, this is odd. Sorry, guys. It's, what a, it's a magic trick. It was just here. Hold on. All right, is somebody seeing it? Tell me where it is. Anybody see where it went? No. It was sitting right here. And now it's gone. Hold on. Maybe it's in this pile of fabric. Great. <laughs> what on earth? Well, that is ridiculous. Yeah. All right. So the cover looks like it's MIA. We, it might I've lost it. Might be a good stopping, stopping point. point. I know yeah. we did have some questions about what the finished size of the of the quilt All is. All right, let's let's get a ruler and we'll measure that. Maybe here's one. Okay, so this is twenty four. Looks like it's about forty nine wide. Just under fifty. And 48 plus 11, so 59. 50 by 60, somewhere in there, about okay. 50 by 60, is where it ends up. So I am going to continue to search for my bobbin cover because I know it's somewhere. <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, 
We'll post a photo of the finished yes. quilt top. Yes, I'm going to finish this up away from from this live and then we'll post a finished picture of it all uh, together. But literally all you do is you just keep sewing your rows together and you keep folding it in half and folding it in half until you get to this width. Then you straighten up your sides and you can either add borders or just add your binding like I did after it was quilted. Super, super simple. And like I said, it's the perfect quilt if you only have an afternoon. So thanks you guys for tuning in and uh, joining along on this fun sewing project. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday and we'll see you next week.